Hi there traders, this is Steve Miley, the market chart is for FX Explained and here we're going to take a look at the S&P 500, the future, the e-mini future on the S&P 500 and the market right back up to that peak that we saw from Tuesday. Remember the market's selling off, we got right up, we pushed above these key peaks in here so we got well, into the area defined by these two key peaks. So they're from the 16th and the 10th of September, 34.19 and a half and 34.24 and a quarter. Remember this is the official CME um, um, equity market in here, the S&P. 500 e mini future on the institutional futures exchange okay so the market went right up up through that peak there um to 34.21.75 and just before it got through this this key high here at 34.24 and a quarter now for me that's going to shift the intermediate term outlook to more bullish it's going to completely neutralize this sell-off from september and it re-energizes the bigger up move that we've had throughout this year from march from the covid19 lows um and the market um selling off though remember when trump came out and said that no more negotiations on the US economic re relief package between now and the election. Okay, so the market spiked lower on that. Now, since then, he has backtracked on that. There looks like there are still going to be renewed hopes of a deal in here. Um, and then the other thing we've got is Biden continuing to push ahead in the polls, continuing to do well. Um, so there's more, and the market's more comfortable with that. Comfortable with a Biden victory. Comfortable with a potential clean sweep by the Democrats, because they will put in a large larger economic relief package okay so markets normally don't like the democratic win in here but they're, they're they're accepting the democratic win and also a big victory for biden will mean an easier transition of power the markets hate indecision and the big worry for markets is if the uh, the presidential election is close then we see that trump refusing to leave okay refusing um, and, and, and disputing the election maybe taking it to the supreme court whatever we don't really know okay it's all speculation but the markets will hate that they won't like that and that will see us move into a risk off theme but right now a big biden victory would then take that opportunity potentially away from trump so the markets have um you know um, a strong biden showing in the polls again in here over the last 24 48 hours um, and then renewed hopes of a u.s economic relief package and the data the macroeconomic data continuing to come through in the u.s and globally fairly well so we've had this strong rebound in here off of 33 30 and a half market back up to the peak in here that from tuesday just below that peak in here um this morning and then there's that critical peak Peak there at 34.24 and a quarter. We take out all of this area here, this resistance area, and then it really will open up risk for the market easily up towards um, a 35 big figure in here, and maybe back up to the high and even above going into um, the middle to the second half of October ahead of the election. But certainly all the threats in here for me to the upside and potential for a real strong push higher for the balance of this week and beyond. This has been Steve Miley, the Market Chartist for FX Explain. I'm going to wish you all a great trading day. Please do stay safe out there and I'll be back with you very soon.